Home for ISM. Welcome to Saturday, September 24th. Uh, daily show. It's 5 p.m. in the afternoon. Uh, I've had a busy afternoon modeling away. Uh, trying to give you guys something to show <laughs> or see, rather. Uh, Friday night, last night, so the live show was on. No modeling for me on a Friday at all yesterday, actually. So, once a bit of work, something to show, and obviously uh, progress with the build. So, I'm working on the special be Tempest, which we'll show you in a minute. So I went about Friday's show last night, absolutely amazing. Uh, we had our most ever viewers, 132 viewers, uh, about 500 views all together, which is absolutely amazing. Thank you very much. So everybody that tuned in, took part in the chat, commented, took part in the competitions, everybody, thank you very much for your support. It's much appreciated. And thank you to all the guys that helped me on the live show as well. All great guys, a big, big help. Uh, and everyone's, you know, really uh, helping to make the show a great thing for you guys and for us as well. I enjoy doing them. I enjoy chatting to you guys. As do the rest of the fellas in the live show. So hopefully um, you guys like it. Spread the word. Tell your friends. Tell your modern friends. Hope you can get those figures higher and higher every time. I make this a great thing. Don't forget if you missed the show, it's uploaded on the channel. Uh, so you can go back and watch it. About four, four and a half hours long. Um, but the Friday night show is a show. It's basically what we've been working on, what we've been buying. Uh, competitions or any uh, group builds and what have you. Uh, sorry about that, it's my neighbour. Um, likes to lob loads of empty bottles into his wheelie bin. And it's 5pm, they do it at 11 o'clock at night. It scares the crap out of me if you just did that. But anyway, <laughs> Friday shows. Um, yeah, so we have the what we've been working on giveaways, competitions, new things. Tim's new kit around it, which Tim works very hard on. Uh, we've got the giveaways, which are fantastic. And uh, Q&A with you guys and just general chat amongst ourselves. So it's been a good uh, good show last night and we're back on Tuesday for build night. So hopefully we'll see most of you people there as well. Uh, the daily shows are not every day but I'm going to call them daily shows. Um, Tuesdays and Fridays are more than likely won't be one. Unless I get a little bit of time to do one, uh, there probably won't be. Because uh, the other day when I did that uh, um, big review and the daily show, it just took up all my afternoons. So a lot of time to do an edit. So Probably won't do two of them together, so we've got a review to go up or a video to go up, there probably won't be a daily show. But we're going to try and all, almost always make sure there's a video nearly every day on the channel. That's my goal anyway. Um, something for you to watch. It won't all be long, 5, 10, 15 minutes long, uh, be it a review or whatnot. So there should be always something there to watch. So that's that. So, uh, like I say, what we've been working on, the Tempest, a uh, special hobby. I've got a... A letter here to have a look in. I know what it is. Thought I'd open it with you guys and uh, have a looky see. And uh, what we're going to do is spin round and have a look at the Tempest. Right, so here we are on the bench. Uh, <laughs> we've got the Tempest there first. Well, so let's just have a look what we got on the post. I know exactly what it is because it's the only thing I've all got this. I've ripped my dress off the front just in case you wonder what's going on. But I know exactly what this is because it's the only thing I have ordered like this. And what it is is my Studio 27 decals for the Escort Mark 1. So that's the scheme we're going for. Very, very nice. Hoping uh, this will look really smart in those decals. A little bit different. Like I said, I've got the die-cast model of this car. So it'll be quite nice to look at as well. So very, very nice Studio 27 decals. Uh, look very, very high quality, as you can see. They weren't cheap. They were £20. Pounds. Um, but... I don't mind spending for something I'm going to enjoy building, that will be absolutely fantastic. Uh, I got these from Nick at autosportmodels.co.uk. So go have a look at Nick's website. It's a, he's looking at doing a new website. Uh, he's also on eBay as five uh, lower under dash diamonds. Uh, and he sells everything, a lot of kits aftermarket. Very, very good guy. This is the guy I got all the aftermarket of my MP4 from as well. Uh, sorry, my MP4-6. Uh, I have a kit uh, Nick gave me to build for. I'm just waiting for him to update his website and I'll be building that uh, Jaeger myself from AO155 for him. Uh, but we're just waiting on that. So hopefully Nick, if you're watching, let me know, bud. Let me know how you're getting on. So yeah, beautiful decals. It's going to make that build absolutely lovely. So very happy about that. Nothing else came in the post today. I'm waiting on my special hobby uh, Yak. That's on the way. Um, the 32 scale one. I ordered that uh, Thursday. And a few aftermarket bits for the Dornier 335 are on the way as well, so should, they should be uh, here for me on Monday. I've also ordered an Arado uh, seaplane, uh, that should be with me Monday or Tuesday. I got a bargain, £24 delivered, so very happy about that. 
So, let's have a look at this. So, the Tempest. So, this is where we're at now. It's probably all not going to fit in camera. What we're on today, we're on the normal overhead cameras because, well, camera, because they're better quality. So, this is what we're going to do. Let me put the other, I'll do the lamp it's on. It's okay. So, this is how we are. This is all mocked up and assembled. As you can see, uh, we haven't taped in place. The wing roots are not too bad. A little bit there, but I think if I just take a little bit off that centre bit there, that'll fit in a lot better. Just a quick go over one of our sanding sponges. I'll do that lovely. The noses aren't needs quite a bit of work inside this intake. Uh, you can see the gaps I've got to deal with, so they need filling and sorting. But the wing roots shouldn't be too bad, uh, and the seams and whatnot. I'm going to need a bit of filling here and there. But they shouldn't be too bad. A lot of river details put back on this nose, so that's going to be interesting. Now, what we're working on today is these wheel bays. Now, when you watch my Facebook Live video the other day, you would have seen me fighting with one of these. It was an absolute nightmare, it just wouldn't fit in. Um, as you can see down the back, this isn't the greatest fit. We have a gap there and not here, so we're going to have to try and wrangle that over there and clamp it and glue it. So you get equal distance and the panel lines line up as well. But it's all doable, it's not a problem. Uh, the wheelbase themselves have got a gap there at the minute because we need to clamp it to glue it to the fuselage. Because you see we have a cap at the front which closes up when I do that. And that's what's causing that gap. So, yes, it's going to take a bit of work. It's a special hobby kit. Uh, I didn't think anything less. I built them before. I know they can be a bit of a pig. Uh, but the landing bays are all done. That's what I'm working on today. Uh, getting it all in, dry fit, I'm not going to glue any of this until I know it all fits in. So this will all have to be finished, all the intakes, uh, all this at the front finished off, etc, etc. So if I break it up, I can show you the various parts. So if I whip this nose off, like I said, I was just test fitting it all, which I've been, I've been doing periodically throughout the build, because I don't want to come to a point of gluing things on and nothing fits. So um, they're definitely a skill setter. For sure, Tim uh, Timothy Ivert, who's on the live show with us, uh, got his first special hobby kit uh, yesterday, and he started work on it. And <laughs> I think it's dawned on Tim just how much work it's going to require. Uh, they are not an easy build at all. In there, we've got the resin, um, inter well, what are they called? Interior parts of the exhaust. Don't know. They're all C uh, CA glued in place. This is all buttoned up, ready to go. But as you can see inside, if I zoom in. Get to focus, I have gaps there, there, there. Not too bad that side to deal with. And obviously we've also got all this river detail to put back in once we deal with that seam. So that's gonna require quite a bit of work. Um, the fuselage itself isn't too bad. It's got a little bit of filler there. We've got some rivets there to re add. The cockpit's beautiful, I really do like the cockpit. It's come out really well. That instrument panel from Yahoo really has Added an extra element to the build. I do love those instrument panels. Nice HGW belts. Very, very pretty. Really, really cool. Like I say, the rest of it down the back, not too bad. Underneath, not too bad at all. So, yeah, it's going to require work. It's a special hobby kit. I know that. I can appreciate that. So, I'll just whip off all this tape. And I'll show you where I've been working on this afternoon. Turn out the guys in the hangout, so uh, me, Sam, Les and Simon. Um, Brian joined us for a little bit, so just a nice pleasant afternoon, listen to some tunes with the guys. What could be better on a Saturday afternoon? Hannah's been working away, so I thought I'd take advantage of that and get in here. So I've been in here since about midday and it's uh, ten past five now. So I'm going to do this video, go have my dinner and then I'm back on. Back on the hangout with the guys. We're a whole night of modelling, so looking forward to that. As always, like I say, if you ever want to join the offer uh, once, the Hangout link's always on ISM Facebook. All you need is a webcam, a mic and a Google Plus account. Feel free to join. It's not a problem at all. We don't mind having anybody on. At all. There we go, now we've got navigation lights in there. So that's a clear part, glued in place. Uh, green and red, Tammy are clear, and then silver over the top then sprayed with the interior green colour and then we've got a mask the other side um, to cover this and that gets a bit of the exterior paint inside it's just the way it's designed to work it's the way it works uh, then the wheelbase itself are painted in UMP black primer and then sprayed in ACAN 
interior green. So they're ready to go as well. The wheel bays, now these are what caused me such bother. Now if you look at them you think, oh they're not too bad. But you have to build them from, let me go to that, all those components there. Now sadly on the instructions that part and that part are mixed up. It's the other way around. It took me a while to figure out and that was giving me so much trouble on that live Facebook video because I couldn't understand why it wouldn't fit. Now it tells you to assemble it that way, which is using the lower wing surfaces, I find it better to use the bottom section and glue it to the lower. I find it all fit in better. But this is where I realised the parts are the wrong way around by using this reference. So you've got all these separate components to cut off, clean up, glue in position and try and get <laughs> where you want them. Then all the other interior little parts and bits and bobs are all put inside as well. Uh, and obviously the navigation lights on the wing as well. You can see how it works. So paint them colours, silver, it tells you to mask them, I don't know why. Uh, spray it green and in place. And obviously you've got to drill out the underwing surfaces just there and there for the drop tanks or the bomb uh, bomb racks. But I believe only one aircraft had the bomb racks, so we're going with the, the drop tanks. So that's it. So yeah, it's been a little bit of a pig. I'm not gonna lie, you can see there with the cockpit taking a bit of paint off, but you can't see that anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, but it's getting there slowly. These are slowly, slowly catchy monkey kits. These are not something you're going to build quickly. Uh, you're certainly not going to finish these in a weekend or a week. They're going to take you quite some time to build for sure. But it's coming along well. Uh, this book I've got from uh, Airframe and Miniature has proved absolutely invaluable. We have had a look at this before. Let me zoom out a little bit. Uh, it covers everything on the aircraft from drawings, scale drawings. In operational pictures or books on the Tempest, uh, decal sheets, aftermarket, all the kits available, uh, panel access, what they all are, so on, so forth, instruments, gun sights, landing bays. Very, very nice book. This thing's proved invaluable. It has all different variants, actual models, which is nice seeing a reference book. All the different kits that were currently available at the time, so I think this isn't in there. A few different schemes, lovely, lovely book. I, I highly recommend that to anybody who uh, is thinking of building a Tempest. So there we go, that's where we're at. So I'm going to finish on with this. Uh, hopefully, I don't know what to do. I, don't know to weather the, I think we'll weather these first, to be honest. At the very least, we'll give them um, an oil wash and a dry brush before we button up the wings and then I want to get the wings buttoned up, clamped together they can be left for a couple of days um, and then we can concentrate on the SU-24 for Brett's uh, bomber build which is something else I'm looking forward to as well, it's a big aircraft very very enjoyable and I can also work on my Escort as well so I'm not sure if we're going to do that engine on the Escort yet I might chicken out and not do it I quite had to finish up quick because all I've got is epically big builds on the go at the minute um, so yeah, I might leave the engine, do the engine and the other one because I've got both of them. So we'll leave after the other one I think and just build this one out of the box bar the, the decals I think. So there you go, that's Saturday's show. Uh, hopefully I might see you tomorrow. As long as we've got something to talk about and show, we'll do another show. Like I say, I want to keep these on topic if possible. Uh, and I don't want to bore you with inane content that isn't relevant or interesting at all. So give me a comment in the... Uh, the comments down below, give us any uh, give us a suggestions, anything you'd like to see, you wouldn't like to see, uh, give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down, you give us a thumbs down, tell us why. Obviously you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel, come into the forum, intscalemodeler.com. Um, also subscribe to the Facebook page, uh, which is International Scale Modeler, and have a look at umpretail.com, which is Ultimate Modern Products, man and these other business as well. So there you go. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I shall see you tomorrow. Uh, have fun. Enjoy your Saturday night, because I will. And uh, happy modelling, and we'll uh, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.